CataractCoach.com. You notice this IOL optic crack. Now the question is, should you exchange the IOL or is it acceptable to leave it? Now the case starts off with a pretty dense cataract. Basically a white cataract, patient's preoperative vision is probably pretty poor. I'm guessing at 20 out of 200 or even worse. So anything's going to be a huge improvement for this patient here. So beautiful chop technique here. We've obviously sped the video up just to get through this chop. But chop technique was beautifully here. Cataract surgery is very uneventful. And the patient's going to get this monofocal lens in the eye. Now cleaning up the capsular bag here. Just a little bit of cortex remaining. That should clean up pretty easily. And you can see this patient obviously will be very happy with great vision compared to the pre-op. Which again with the white cataract was probably at uh, 2200 or worse vision. Now let me tell you about cataractcoach.com, our teaching website. I'm always in shocked when I meet someone and they say, oh, I've never heard of the website. I'm like, literally, I say it at the beginning of every video, cataractcoach.com. I mean, it's on the, vi the video screen right there at the bottom, cataractcoach.com. There's so much great material there. So you ought to check it out. Anyway, here comes the lens going in the eye. Oh, wow, God, get that eye back in primary, please. Here comes the lens. Golly, that makes me wince a little bit. You don't even know where the lens is going. Here's an example of an incision that's too tight. Enlarge the incision if you need to. Also, we need to fix the drapes there. Now you got the eye well stuck in the incision. What are you going to do here? So we should have enlarged the incision here. And let's see. I'm watching the video for the first time with you. We're watching the other. Now, just trying to shove the lens in. Not a great choice here. Here, I'd explant the lens and get, oh, no, no, no. You can't even see what's going on. Where's the eye? Oh my goodness, now it's inside the eye, but this has certainly damaged the optic. And you'll see there's a crack right in the middle of it. Now the question is, what do you do? Now I'm sure the patient will be very sweet and very happy and very understanding and won't really notice too much of that crack, but obviously it's right in the center of the visual axis, it will likely affect the vision. Now it's common to have a crack in an eye well, or at least a stress fracture, when we implant them. Because think about it, we're getting these six millimeter optics that are at least a millimeter thin. We roll them up very tightly, try to put them through a 2.2 millimeter incision, sometimes even smaller. And sometimes you can get these stress fractures in these acrylic materials. There it is. Now in a case like this, I agree, putting viscoelastic in, it's time to explant the lens. I wouldn't want to leave the lens in the eye, not like this, because that crack is right in the middle. If you had to crack those off to the side, I think it'd be fine to leave it. It really wouldn't affect the vision. But right there in the absolute center, it's probably a better idea to explant it. So let's use our viscoelastic. That's easy to explant at this point. Because you just the capsule bag's wide open. There's no contraction at all, right? So now here is where I would do our twist and out technique, but I'd first enlarge the incision. Okay to enlarge that incision. Why suffer? No need to suffer here. So let's see the technique now going maybe behind the optic. Okay, cutting it. Now be careful cutting it here because you can easily cut the posterior capsule. Easily. If those scissors touch the posterior capsule, you're cooked. Capsule is going to open right, right up. Now here, the lens is mostly cut in half through the optic. You can bring out one half and the other half should be able to be rotated out. Thank you for enlarging the incision. Thank you, thank you, thank you. There's the one half. Rotate it out. Get it out. Now putting the new lens in will be a lot easier because you have a larger incision. So let's take a look at that. More viscoelastic here. Fast forward to the new lens. Again, I encourage you to keep the eye in primary. You've seen me operate. When I inject the lens, I don't push the eye out of primary. Keep the eye in primary as much as you can. You've got control over that as a surgeon. So I think the issue here in this patient was that the incision was just too tight. Maybe this patient's highly hyperopic. Maybe it's a high power lens with a thicker optic. And as a result, when you try to put it through that first incision that was so tiny, and they get stuck in the um, incision, and then you finally sh uh, grab it and really force it into the anterior chamber, well, yeah, you ended up with a stress fracture. So I do applaud this surgeon. Good job in taking out the lens, exchanging it right here. If you left it and came back another day, you could also do that, but I think you're right there on the table. It makes sense to just swap it out. And we learned our lesson there too. Make sure the incision's of an appropriate size when you insert the IOL. Again, check out cataractcoach.com, the teaching website, plus follow me on Insta, Instagram. It's all you young people like, right? Check me out.